there is the actual front of the stage and the you know, the size there, so the seating will obviously run right in here. There'll be a walkway in kind of right here. And then there'll be kind of stadium seating here in the back. Like bleacher seating here in the back. If you get seats though, there'll be raised seating off the floor. So we'll have that a little walkway, then the seating there. We'll seat around 1,200 people when it's completed. The stage there with the the front of the stage, that's the width, the opening of the stage, that's the seating of the stage, and the rest of it. Uh, behind this wall is where the dining commons will be. So when you come in, you'll come into the school, that's where that bobcat's sitting, the excavator's sitting, up in kind of the doors of the school. It'll be lined up with the existing doors of the school, be the main entry. And then you'll come in, there'll be this dining commons, a large common space here. And then it'll tie back in through the existing kitchen, too. And then there'll be a hallway that goes from that wall through here and next to the next to the locker room there you have concession stands bathrooms and all that and some more storage there so your main what we want to have is like a main avenue kind of coming down towards the gym so you can either go into the auditorium on the right or into the gym on the left and kind of have it more of an open space because right now the lobby of the gym is not very big so that concession stand is coming out the concessions will actually be here so if you come out to the concessions you can get that and go back in and have more space to kind of move around. Uh, again, the stage is there. Behind the stage, ahead of course, where your classrooms are, um, will be, and that's going to be theater on the, on the end, on this end, chorus and then band on that end. And they'll have direct access to the stage from there. There'll be a double, there'll be a roll-up door on the right side of the stage. So if you want to bring, bring, bring bigger props in, stuff like that, you can dra actually drive them in from the parking lot. If you're heavy enough, you can actually drive a car on it if you want to do whatever. Um, and bring a car onto the stage. So you're kind of getting the idea of the footprint now. And it looks a lot different than it did, you know, a couple weeks ago, but it definitely looks different than it did in October. But uh, it's all coming together. So they're hoping to start pouring some concrete for the floors in about four weeks. So from here, that way, they're hoping to get all the, all the, all the stuff work done to get stuff they can start pouring this slab of concrete. Then you'll start seeing walls going up and getting some vertical height to the building. Um, so we're getting there. Um, they've been doing good. And the parking lot, where I walk over there, the parking lot is on the hill. And it's just ready for paving, basically. Just waiting to see when they want to pave it. So they had to build all that up to grade, even with this. So when you do the floor, <laughs> it'll be a level from this floor all the way out. So you want to have a step step up or anything like that. So for ADA and all that, it'll be level all the way out. So that's kind of why we brought it up so much right here. three times bigger than our current stage. Remember, our current stage was 1955, um, so getting into the, you know, a little bit more modern. And then we'll have classrooms on the back of that. We'll have a theater classroom, a chorus classroom, and a band classroom off the back. And they'll have direct access to the stage from their classrooms. Uh, and the wings, you have the wings there, but also have storage. We have storage, we have restrooms uh, in the wings as well. That main stretch down between the building and the, you can see the concrete there. Um, that's just going to be a hallway with we'll a restaurant and stuff like that built in as well. So it's going to be a lot different. The party store is located. Um, that's going to be where the fuel house is going to go. Rooms, concessions, changing rooms for the athletes, as well as the indoor outdoor area slash indoor area. We won't have pipes sticking up. Um, that's just like getting the clean out. That's what we need for our community. We don't have a space like this in our community. So we need, we need something.